Today in this video, I will describe the effective procedure for electrical wiring or installation of an off-grid solar system. The one of the main part of this system is solar inverter. These inverter comes with different capacity. Select inverter as per your requirement or load being run by the inverter. The off-grid hybrid solar inverter has WAPTA input terminal, AC output 1 terminal which is for light load, AC output 2 terminal that for heavy load. Heavy load output down through when available source is only battery in order to protect battery from sudden discharge. Single output inverter is also available, but the good one is dual output inverter which have two outputs for lighting and heavy load. The next terminal point is for battery connection, and this is for solar panel input terminal. The next major part of this system is PV panel. PV panel can be arranged in parallel and series combination depending upon maximum PV voltage and current input of inverter. If connection is in series configuration, then connect negative line of PV panel to the positive line of next PV panel and connect all panels in this manner. At the end there is only one positive and one negative line left. That will be connected to PV input terminal of inverter through 16 ampere DC circuit breaker. To protect inverter from lightning or any other surge from PV line, a surge protecting device SPD must be installed. Without SPD inverter may be damaged from lightning strike. To divert surge current, this SPD must be earthed through an earthing rod or electrode. The third core part of off-grid system is batteries. If inverter is 24 volt rated then connect 2 batteries in series but if inverter is 48 volt rated then connect 4 batteries in series or install 48 volt dry battery. Connect these batteries to battery input terminal through 63 ampere or 125 ampere DC breaker depending upon inverter battery current input capacity. Don't connect batteries without circuit breaker because then battery can't be isolated. Install utility input through 32 or 63 ampere AC circuit breaker depending upon load connected to this line and input rating of inverter. To protect expensive inverter from utility voltage high low fluctuation or to keep inverter safe from being overload so that it remain within its capacity, must install a very valuable device volt ampere protector. Connect output of AC circuit breaker to the input of VA protector and output of this device to the AC input terminal of the inverter. Configure VA protector as per system rating. Another surge arrestor must be installed at input of inverter because sudden surge can't be arrested by VA protector that's why SPD on AC side is necessary. Connect earth side of this SPD is with earthing electrode. Now connect light load output of inverter to breaker type changeover and then to the lighting load. Similarly, connect heavy load output of inverter to breaker type changeover and then to the heavy load. Connect AC input line also to these changeovers. If in case inverter starts malfunctioning and don't generate any of output, then it can be bypassed through these changeovers. Finally, connect body earth terminal of inverter to the equipment earthing rod. Keep in mind that there must be at least 20 feet distance from lightning electrode and equipment earthing electrode. Thanks for watching this video. If this content is helpful then please like this video and hit the subscribe button.